Welcome to beautiful Nice, a city in the French Riviera in southern France, with some of the sunniest winters in Europe, which is perfect for me as I escape the chill of Lithuania for a few weeks. Hi, I'm Laura Bronner, a gal with a backpack and a camera, traveling the world to learn more about the people and places, and food, in it, and sharing it all with you. For the next few weeks, I'm going to be exploring France, starting with the city of Nice. Good morning from sunny Nice. I'm so excited to be here. I'm in a t-shirt. It's February. <laughs> Uh, so I'm gonna be here for a couple of days. I'm gonna show you around. We're gonna eat. We're gonna hike up some hills We're gonna get on a boat and uh, just generally enjoy this amazing weather this beautiful part of the country I'm so excited to be back in the south of France and uh, show you Nice. So let's go I started the day of touring around Nice by heading to the port this is where you'll find some colorful buildings, cute cafes, and plenty of giant yachts to have a peek at. There's a small fish market here if you're staying at an apartment and you want to self-cater as well. From here, you can carry on along the coastline towards Nice Beach. There's a pedestrian path and a bike lane, and tons of space to wander along the coastline taking in the views. You'll spot the large memorial to the Nice citizens who lost their lives in World War II that's carved into the hill. Then you'll see the I Love Nice sign. And from here, it's a great view of the old town of Nice and the beach. For an even better view, head up the stairs to Castle Hill. As you climb up the hill, you'll find tons of viewpoints and areas to rest, although it's only about 10 minutes from the bottom to the very top of the hill. Up here, there's a playground, viewpoints to look back over the port, and even a cute little waterfall. Once you come back down the hill, you can carry on along the English promenade. But first, head into the Old Town for a peek at the Daily Market. They have everything from fresh produce to flowers, spices, paintings, cheese, and fresh bread. Head up this set of stairs across from the church to get a wonderful view back over the happenings below. We were getting pretty hungry at this point, so we headed back to the promenade to find a good sunny beachside spot to have a meal overlooking the sea. Our table at La Galle couldn't have been better. And while it isn't the cheapest meal you can have in Nice, it's also not really any more expensive than many of the restaurants around the old town and market area, with mains coming in between 20 and 28 euros, except the lobster, which was over 30. The quality of the food was exceptional, and you really can't beat eating a bowl full of seafood with the sound of the sea as your background music. We shared the choux pastry dessert, which is filled with ice cream and cream and topped with hot melted chocolate, and it was as decadent and delicious as it looks. After thoroughly filling our bellies, we were back out to explore more of Nice. The architecture along the promenade harkens back to a time of real grandeur, and you can't help but stop and admire each ornate building as you go past. Just off of the promenade was the Museum Messena, which was built between 1898 and 1901 for the Prince Victor Dessling. It was his winter residence for a short period of time before his death in 1910. After his death, his family gave the villa to the city of Nice, and it has been home to a museum since 1921. Inside, you'll find a history of Nice through photographs, drawings, maps, and artifacts, especially of the Belle Epoque between 1870 and 1914. If you plan to visit two or more museums during your stay in Nice, I highly recommend getting the Nice Museum Pass. It costs 15 euros and includes 10 museums, and it's valid for three days. You can buy it at any of the participating museums. So with museum passes in hand, we headed to the Photography Museum, which is next to the market, a small but wonderful exhibition of photography. We explored some more of the side streets of the Old Town and went inside the Nice Cathedral, which was built between 1650 and 1685. 
From here, we had one more museum to visit for the day, which was also included in the museum ticket, the Palais Lascari Museum. Built in the middle of the 17th century for the Lascari Vintimil family, one of the leading families of nobility in Nice at the time. The home is one of the best examples of Baroque architecture in a private residence on display in the city today. And it's also home to some beautiful instruments used in the 18th and 19th centuries. The museum ticket also includes the Museum of Modern Art, which I didn't get a chance to visit, and the Matisse Museum, which was unfortunately closed during my trip. But I highly recommend checking them out if they interest you. At this point in the day, we were feeling a little bit peckish, so we headed out in search of soca, a famous dish from Nice that is kind of like a pancake made from chickpea flour. If you remember my trip to Genoa last year, I tried the Italian version of this, farinata, and the texture was quite different. It's really hot. Mmm, fluffy. Tasty. Not gonna, not gonna set the world alight. <laughs> That's good. Nice is a great base for exploring this whole region of the French Riviera with day trips to Villefranche, Monaco, and even across the border to Italy, all taking less than an hour each way. While I was here, I wanted to try and see a good amount of the coastline in one day, and the best way to do that is to get out on the water. Renting a boat with or without a driver is relatively easy, and with a group of friends, not overly expensive for a day out on the water. We went from Nice all the way to Monaco. Then we stopped for a drink in the neighboring town of Cap Day. Then we anchored in the calm waters of Plage Mala, where we plucked up the courage to get in the water in the middle of February, and I did not at all regret it. Here we go. It's not warm. <laughs> <laughs> We slowly made our way back along the coastline to Nice, with views over Villefranche, for eventually docking just outside of Nice to sit and watch the sunset. You could easily spend a week in Nice, exploring the city, visiting the different museums, trying all of the restaurants around the beach and the old town, and visiting nearby towns as well. While I was here, I also headed to the nearby town of Ez, but you'll have to wait until next week to see that video. So be sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on this stunning slice of the French Riviera. And just like that, I'm back at the train station. My trip to Nice is coming to an end a little bit earlier than I had planned because there's a rail strike, so I had to change uh, my, my train time, so I didn't get to have the morning here in Nice, unfortunately, but what a place. I'm so glad I came. It's so beautiful, so much to see. I'll definitely be back to this place. There's plenty more that I missed out on, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really supports my channel, and uh, let's go to Lyon. See you next time. Bye.